helium. I am sinking. And I can't fight all this weight. I can't fight gravity, you know? Like, I cannot fight this pulling down, taking all of my... You wasn't looking at her. I wasn't looking at her. I ought to cut her in her face. I wasn't looking at her. <laughs> because she's so I cute. I wasn't looking at her. She ain't even that cute. I was kind of looking at her. What? Like, just a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, modestly, with no intentions, just observing. What you got to be observing for? I don't know, taking my surroundings, learn the world, not to be wrapped up in my own existence, and nothing else. <laughs> Everything's more important to you than me. It's more important to <laughs> Not hardly. You're biding your time until you figure out what to do next, ain't that it? Why would you say that? Because I don't like talking at nothing. I like to say exactly what's what. So you want to know what's what? Yeah, I want to know. I don't know where I'm going to be two days from now, two hours, and I can't be pretending we in some fairy tale fantasy where all I need to do is chill in a castle with our horses or whatever. Horses? Or whatever. I don't know, whatever they got in castles. Look, the truth is, I got too many words and being here with you ain't making them go nowhere. You feel me? You saying I'm adding to your stress level? I'm saying I've got stresses, real ones, and hiding out in your dorm ain't doing nothing but prolonging the inevitable. Hmm. This is some black version of a breakup? Just me being honest. <laughs> well, fuck your honesty. Seriously, Omar, you're gonna make my heart split with your back and forthness. One minute I'm the cause, the next minute I'm the cure. Maybe. 
you're your own stress problem, and I ain't got nothing to do with it. Maybe I am. Fuck you. Maybe I'm confused. Hmm. That's the realest shit you ever said. Yeah. This could be our last time. Are you kidding me right now? No, I'm just seeking intimacy. You seeking to get sucked in the eye. I don't turn on and off like a stove. You mean a faucet. I mean a stove. One minute you got me hot, the next minute the fire's out. Quit gassing me up and killing my fucking spark. Girl, ain't nothing gonna kill your spark. You always gonna be fine. And you always gonna be crazy. I'm scared. Why are you fighting her? Why you say you gonna cut Keely's face? Cause she thinks she's cute. And you wanna mess that up? Maybe it'll make things balanced. Like how? Like what she wear on the outside is how I feel on the inside. And that's messed up. She probably already prepared her speech. Trying to send me back to my pops. A dude wouldn't go that far in a million years. Hey, you're not even supposed to be here. If anyone finds us. Where else can we meet? They won't let me talk to you anywhere on campus. I'm supposed to be packing my stuff to go home. And ain't like I can visit you at your folks' crib. They won't let me nowhere near you. Teen pregnancy stats got them spooked. They have no idea who or what I am. I know what you are. You don't even know yourself. How you know me? I know you. Yeah, what you know? You're a metamorphic rock. Here we go again. What? <laughs> Science references from Mr. Peace's class ain't gonna save you from my rap. I ain't trying to get saved. I'm just making an observation. Explain. Metamorphic rocks. They change in form, made from heat and pressure. That's what makes them so rare and interesting. And that's me? That's you. I think I'm leaving. <laughs> Where you going? Uh, somewhere else. I don't know. Got money saved up. Child support stash. Shit adds up when you don't spend it. So, so you just going to run away? What else am I going to do? Stay here? Let them take away my life? My future? Maybe not. They recorded it. So? Threaten me by who put it up? I'll never be able to trace it. And if it goes viral, I'm a rap. And it's going to go viral. Fuck it then. You'll be a celebrity. I'll be a monster. You won't. I'll be public enemy number one. You'll be the motherfucker nobody fucks with. That ain't the legacy I was trying to leave. Then what legacy are you gonna leave, huh? Running away? I just gotta go, Jasmine. I know what you are. What am I? A lunar eclipse. Or so. Rare and hiding in the shadows of the earth. Always ready for an escape. Mr. Peterson's science class is the best. Ugh. Don't leave. I think I got it. I don't think I can survive this you, crap shit without you. You can survive anything. Don't leave. I guess you won't last long. Make it last forever.
got my face reconstructed. Oh, asshole. You look great, Lori. I can hardly tell. My husband came and my daughter. I figure out she said. Everything Chris Rock has been painted without at least a gazillion ounces of mascara. Or leaves. I don't know if I can measure mascara. She's obsessed with it. That's a lot of money.
But I had a function of how you know a good old ass woman can teach a lot. That's not O's problem, Lori. No. I wasn't saying that. I just, I know what his problem is. It's me. I'm the source and I know it. And I can't quit thinking about this. I'm going to get to the day, okay? Naya, don't panic. We're all just a bunch of scrums trying to figure out our mess. Don't figure it out. Screw us. Oh, don't take that literal. It's, it's figure speech.
That's something we do well together, ain't it? What's that? Vices.
suckers in there is causing problems. You know all you gotta do is I'm hit fine. me up. I'm fine. I can handle myself just fine. I don't need your help. Your son? My what? Uh, I said my students. You know you said your son. I have work to do. Yo, not. Are you okay? You got the amazing. Yeah. Yeah. School is fucking fucked. <laughs> Bitches can't never mind their own damn business. Gossip pours at every level. It's like private school for what? For who? Ain't nothing you do here private. <sighs> my parents are stupid, crazy, paying all this money to keep me away from all the kids in my neighborhood. Cause they so damn spooked I might get shot or pregnant or some shit if I go to the public. But I'm like, they must have ever been in the staircases here at this. Frickin' Farm Book Academy, cause for reals. It's all types of teen fuckery going on, and the rich bitches are the nastiest, straight <laughs> up. <laughs> it's like their privilege bought them some extra freak or something. Or maybe they ain't never known what it's like to be so desperate, so they'd rather figure that out through sex or some shit. Uh, it's tragic. <laughs> and I cannot keep myself in this wasteland of talent. Stuck up girls in my dorm. I feel like I'm going to steal their fabric softener or take their goddamn gr granny pains out the laundry. Because <laughs> I don't have none of my own. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> Bitch, I may not have your money. But I have both my mother and my father working their asses off at two jobs at home just to have you study up here with the rest of you. Because they think your privilege will rob off of me by association. Or maybe they believe in this false god of this freaking Firebrook Academy that somehow it produces better people. And I keep trying to explain to them that someone like me will survive better in an environment in which I am comfortable in instead of being the token poor girl of color that everyone thinks is trying to sleep with their pussy ass boyfriends or take their goddamn cocaine, crystal meth, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the worst shit my friends are smoking on the block is weed. If it wasn't for Mr. Peterson's class in Omari, I would slit my wrist. That's my point, I feel. He's not leaving me here with these bougie brainwashed brats. I'm following my man. <laughs> you don't hear about this one urban romance novel. <laughs> 
things. Bring it downstairs. It's not here. Not in his room. No. <laughs> Do you know where he might be? Miss Joseph, I don't know. Are you sure? I'm sure. Did you see him at all today?
But I was just always curious. Like if I did something I didn't know about, like sat in your favorite chair once or drank the last of your juice that was there empty. If it was some action of mine or just my presence alone, I would understand either way. I just always wondered. Jasmine, I, I don't dislike you. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like me, right? I mean. That is passive aggressive. It's like not committing to loving or hating. It's almost indifferent. I don't know you well enough. It's hard to like someone beyond a few corners. Someone cute and smart most days. Someone I'm sure did great in her own way. Someone great in every way. Someone you still don't really know. Someone also dated a son. My only son. Exactly. Like the way you just said that. That was kind of like, that was almost a threat. What do you mean? Like, can you excuse my language, please? But it was like, yeah, bitch, and that's my only son. You trying to take him from me or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I said, excuse my language, please. I hope you heard that part. I heard it. <laughs>
Avenue, the train station, or the buses to go where? He didn't say. He said it was goodbye. Someone can pick him up. He caught a ride with Ryan. He told the counselor he was coming up to get his clothes, and he, he snuck out with Ryan. I tried to convince him not to, to stick out his face like a man, but he didn't want to be a burden to you. Why would he? They videoed it, miss. It's going to go viral. Somebody already sent me a text. Jesus. He didn't want to bring shame to you. He didn't want it to ruin you. And did he mention a place? I need to know now. I need to know. I'm telling you everything I know. Betrayal all day. Think about it. Did he mention a place before he left? I need to know now. I'm telling you everything I know for sure. Catch a bus over to Philly. Philly? What? Philly. My boy Rashad, he got a small crib there, but when his father passed, said he had a small couch. So, so that's the plan. Leave out the not face any of these. Leave me here to deal with the mess. That's the plan. It was something, Ma. I don't know about a plan. came back. I see. You've been smoking. You've been fighting. Oh. You even want to hear? Do you even care? Don't do that. Do what? Ask if I care. Put this on me, deflect. That is not going to flip I'm right not now. trying to deflect right now, Mom. I'm just asking if you care to hear or if you prefer not to. Because maybe the details won't make it better right now. I always care. I'm not saying you don't. Yes. Give me the gory details. I want to know what devil got into your hands and made you attack the teacher. You don't understand, Ma. Make me. I just want to start by saying that I'm not justified. 
There's no way to. I'm not justifying. But everything I say now is just a how. You know? The how and the why, but not the excuse. I'm not making none of those no more. I'm done. And tell me the how. I couldn't see straight. That's what I know for sure. It's like I went blind for a moment. No inside, no outer. I was just trying to get through the week. What why did you want? He kept questioning me, Ma, in class. Questioning you how? Didn't feel like being bothered. I told him that, Ma. I wasn't in the mood for being questioned. He's your teacher. He's supposed to question you. Nah, he ain't. He ain't. Not how he was doing it. And he had been doing it a lot. And I was sick of it. So we get to discussing the reading. You know, Nader's son, Richard Wright. He starts asking these questions like, what made Bigger Thomas do that to that woman? What made Bigger Thomas kill that woman? What were his social limitations? What made the animal in him explode? And who is he looking at when he's asking him questions, Ma? Who is he looking at? Omari? Like, I'm the spokesperson. Like, I'm Bigger Thomas. Like, I'm predisposed or some shit to know what it's like to be an animal. Omari, watch him now. But do you hear me, though? Do you hear what he's doing? He started picking me out, asking me to answer. Like, what did I discover while reading the text? Nah, he ain't. He ain't just questioning me about Native son. He ain't just talking text. He is saying something else. Something beneath the question. And it's like, I'm the only one who can hear it. That doesn't give you the right to lose your cool. That doesn't give you the right to be the animal. But it's all he's saying. Won't leave me alone. I say, mister, don't pick on me today. I don't have the answer. I don't got nothing to offer. But he won't leave me alone. even when you don't feel like it. That's the teacher's job. I've told you that repeatedly. We're not talking a teacher doing his job, Ma. We're talking provoking. We're talking agitating. We're talking singling me out. You know that? Singling me out on a day where I don't feel like being singled out. I'm talking respecting my space. You are in school. You're not in your personal space. You're in a collective space. A space to be engaged and be questioned and stimulated and be provoked. That is education. I'm talking biased education, Mom. He knows. He knows he wasn't. He was saying something. Asking me in that way, in that room, in front of the class, on that issue. He was saying something directly to me. I know he was. Even if he was. Even if. What are you telling me? You're telling me that it gives you the right to put your hands on your feet? You're trying to draw some perpendicular line here, and I'm not seeing where these things cross. I told him to back off, Mom. You said that already. I told him, and he kept digging. And then? And then, he says, Mr. Joseph, your perspective is mandatory here. Give the class your perspective, or take a zero from the day. Still not seeing it. You threaten my grade. You threaten to punish me in front of the class because I don't want to be your total responder. Mom, that's bullshit! I'm sorry, I'm just amped. I'm making a point. You haven't made a point yet. You haven't given any indication how your behavior was warranted. All you have done is explain how you are above reproach and you're not. Forgive me. No, let's not forget. No, me. let's. Because I knew you. I knew this was you, Todd. I pushed him and he fell against the board. You slammed your teacher into the board. Now that's some semantics. And it's been recorded by students. You think they'll see anything different? I tried to get up and leave. Ma, he wouldn't let me leave. That's unreasonable. I, I told him I wasn't in the mood. I said it. They don't care about your mood anymore. Exactly, Ma. They don't care. They don't care about the space and place I'm in. I know you. I know how to learn. I know when I'm good and when I'm not. And Ma, I said it. I'm not good. I said that. But you ask to be excused. You ask to speak to a counselor immediately. You don't just walk out in the middle of a lesson as if you are some king or god that cannot be tamed. Tamed? Damn it, Omari. Tamed. Don't do that. Don't remodel and change the meaning. I'm not changing anything. 
Ma, I'm repeating verbatim. Then what you come back here for? Huh? Why did you come back? You have nowhere else to go? I want to leave that way. Ma. So you drop out? Leaving school? A school your father and I vetted for you. A school that was supposed to give you. Supposed me. to give me all these opportunities. You know, make me a better man than if I had stayed here. Went to your school. If I had just stayed here in our neighborhood. Those are his words, Ma. Not yours. Don't give me his speech. Better than staying with him. Omar just ain't surviving in this neighborhood. He's smart. It could be something, Naya. Just not in this hood. So let's send him upstate. Out of both of our hands. That's what my father thought. Because that's where his money's going. Don't do that. Don't speak for him. Or me, or us. Don't interpret. You are lost in translation. I'm not lost. You are. Shit, you are. My disappearance? Not funny. I know. Just like a home going up in here or something, Mom. I ain't got it. Sorry. Uh, we should um get something to eat and starve. What did I do? Tell me. My, don't do this. Did I hurt you? Did, did I misstep? Did I forget too much? Did I not know enough? Ma, this ain't you. I tried, like religiously, like an ongoing prayer to protect you. I've tried to buffer you from it all. I've tried to free you and flee you. I've tried following directions from your father, from other mothers from my own mother, from whoever, and I still don't know the answer. What you want me to say? They could press charges. What you want me to say? They could take you from me, and I wouldn't be able to stop What you don't want me to say? Give me the 
Sorry to bother you during school hours. They said this was your free period. I didn't get your message until this morning. I lost my phone. Had to track down a million clients' marketing accounts. Went crazy. It's fine. I just took half a day. I left the office and came straight here. Okay. Can we talk about what's been going on? He hit a teacher. He pushed him into the smart board. Jesus, why? I don't know. He said he was upset, said he was having a bad day. A bad day? He said he felt harassed by the teacher. Felt targeted more than the other students. He said he wasn't in the mood. That's no excuse. Where is he now? Home. I think home. You think? I I left him at home. He's suspended. They're going to decide and deliberate whether they want to expel him or press charges. That's where we are. Hoping this scene will blow off over the weekend. I'm just hoping they'll be more lenient. This is his third strike. No. They won't be lenient with the third strike. I'm just hoping. She said he didn't push the teacher, but in the video. Video? There's video. The kids' phones. How did they? I thought phones weren't allowed. Not. Then how in the hell? They're going to use this against him. I tried to run away. He was going to run away. All this happened yesterday? I tried to call. Phone. Shh. Yeah. I give you Sheila's number. I don't recall. I'll give you Sheila's number. Next time you can't reach me, call her, she'll reach me. Yeah, okay. Damn it. How'd he get to this? How'd he get so far over the line? I don't know. He say anything to you, give you any answers? <laughs> Something funny? You think he gives me answers? I'm just asking. He ought to. He's supposed to answer to you when you question. He's your son. He's your son, too. I know I... What is that? What is what? It just felt like a little accusation. I didn't do that. No? No. Okay. Okay. Because we said we weren't going to do that. We're not. Co-parenting. Yes, exactly. Not a blame game. No one's blaming. Okay. It just sounded like... Yeah. You said he's your son. But mine wasn't... It just sounded like... I'm talking about him. You're the mother. I'm saying he's the son. He should be answering when questioned. He's the son. Yeah, right. Okay, but she said he's my son, not the son. I meant the son! Okay. I've been thinking. I'm thinking he should come live with me. You and Sheila? Sheila still has her own place. That's, that's not what this is. I don't know about that. This is important. Maybe they won't press charges if we, if we tell them we're changing his circumstances. I'll pull him out of Fernbrook and enroll him in a, neighbor, a school in my neighborhood. Or he can go here. Here. Yes, here. A school where I teach and have been for over a decade. Not here. There are some good teachers. This school is failing, Naya. Was failing, not anymore. They split us up into four different sections, and we're doing much better now. And that's on student accountability in the school board. That was some of the staff. Not all of them. There are some good teachers here. He, he knows them, he'll, he'll be comfortable, and he'll be here under my watch. But you can't watch him all day. Neither can you. No, but I can give him better surroundings. Better. Don't do that. I'm not making judgments. Let's not do that. Let's keep this about O. It is about O. You do what you can. I'm not saying you've done anything wrong, but you resist. You and him, the offers that I make, you can be proud. You can ride or die for this hood. That's good for you, but that's not good for our son. And you know. You know what's better. Sending him off to Fernbrook? That didn't stop the rage. You can't solve from the outside in. Can't you see that? Outside in? What does that even mean? I work with the parts I get in I. That's all I get access to. He doesn't let me in. That doesn't mean I'm not still active. I work from whichever way he dictates, but he always dictates that he's the son. Ours. But it can't always be a dictator. It can't always be democracy. And sometimes I try, but it's like we're running two different governments. I thought we were co-parenting. Cool
sometimes it's time, and I'm not saying you don't do your part, but I'm the man, not you. He needs a firmer hand. That isn't blame. Maybe not always have a choice. Maybe he's had too many goddamn choices, and he doesn't know how to follow a leader. And you don't think that'll suffocate him? You think my grip's too loose, so he's slipping down the pipe? Which grip is best? Please, show me, please, show me. You always have to do this. Do what? Make it personal. Make parenting our son a personal battle between you and I. It is between you and me. We made him. No. It's you and him. Me and him. Us and him. That's the deal. You and I without him does not exist. Ouch. No. You don't get to say that. I don't get to be hurt. I can't feel pain. No, you don't get to do that. I know. It was hard I'm to not me. looking back. I'm not asking you. You wrote this, not me, you. I'm moving on, and that does not make me a bad father. I didn't say it did. You also didn't tell our son who the real villain is, and he thinks it's me. I never, I never knew to think you were the enemy. He thinks it anyway, and now we won't hardly listen, we won't give me any type of respect. That's not on me. I never bad talk to you. If you're upset with me because of, that's fine, that's fair, but whatever is broken between you and him, that's not on you. Then let him come. Let him stay with me. Give me that authority. I haven't any to give you. You want to try forcing him? You want to dictate? Try it. You'll have a great rebellion over here. I can handle rebellion. It's you. You're the barricade. When you resist, he can snip it, and then I'm the enemy. I won't resist. I'll go to the school on Monday, first thing. That's what I'll do. I'll ask him not to press charges and pull him out of farm work. Maybe he'll listen. And then he comes with me. That's the deal. That's how we fix this. How did we get here? Ask yourself. I miss you. I can't. I know. Do we have a deal? chances to disappear, you understand? This is a
wait till we get there. Well, it doesn't always work. You're right. It doesn't always work. It's stupid. Huh. I've got a room full of kids to protect. And my soul. I mean, what kind of adult just stands there and watches her students fight? What am I supposed to do? He was pounding his head into the floor like this. And if Sean was seeing red, I screamed for him to stop. Would you think he could hear me? He couldn't hear the voice of God in that moment. Look, I'm just saying what the protocol is. I'm not saying you were wrong. What right if I'm wrong? That's only necessary. What did Colby say? He's talking to the superintendent now. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to know shit about how to teach a class is going to be my fucking judge and jury.
Die soon. I'm good. S sorry about this. Yeah. I should be okay though. They say. Yeah. She's tough. That's what I always dig about her. Sure. I'll head down to the cafeteria. You want something? Oh, I I'm got good. it. Hypothesis. I'm gonna test my own shit. I'm gonna show you nothing deeper. Thank God she's okay. Thank God. Might take some time. Test. I'll wait. You don't have to. That's not what I meant. I was preparing you for. These tests, they take time. Should be straight. I got it. I know you do. She and I, we wanted to talk. Word in the medicine right now. I wanted to talk to you, find out about this acting up at school. I already pled my case, gave her the one two. I'm sure she told you. I want to hear it from you. For what? Because I deserve to know. Deserve? Why is that? Because you paid for the education? What? Am I, am I wasting your money? You want me to pay you back? Yeah, maybe, smart ass, maybe. I'll write you a check. You can cash your health raises on Hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm your father. me! We gotta work this out. I'm working my stuff. Nah, with me. We gotta work this out together. You quit together a long time ago. I never quit you. You quit her? You quit me. I didn't. You don't know what you're talking about. There's adults' business you aren't privy to. You need to keep the issues separate. You're my son. I never quit you. She was creepy. That's the adult business. 
That's the grown-up stuff I can't handle? Never mind, let this go. And you were cold, mean, making her feel like shit every day. And you was never happy living over here, and that wasn't her fault, mine either. I took good care of you. I never missed a payment. I never missed a birthday or first day of school. You never went hungry. You always had a shirt on your back and money in your pockets. Didn't I do that? Is that my sin? You know these dudes? Want they old man in their life so bad? They think it's the missing link to the equation, the last ingredient to understanding their manhood. But what's having you in flesh? Flesh ain't shit. It ain't no different than sperm. It's clinical. It does the biology. It don't do the soul. The hell you want me to do? You want me to rock you in my arms, hold you, and cry to sleep? That's not my gig. I'm your father. I'm here. Titles are rated. You know what? I don't give a shit if you like me, or if you want to go to the goddamn basketball court with me, or if you want to pin a fucking tail on my ass. I'm here. I'm the father, and you're the kid. Like it or hate it, screw it. That's the law of the land. You ain't here. I'm here. You are there. We miles apart. You don't have to like me. You don't have to enjoy my company. But the respect is non-negotiable. Or what? You want to ask me that? I want to know what if I say no. You know, sometimes I want to grab you by the throat and choke the shit out of you. What's stopping you? I was sitting in class, listening to the lesson. Going to be a silent observer. I was listening to the class talk about natives. Now I woke up that day thinking about you. How I hadn't seen or heard from you in a minute. But that check came on time. I woke up with that check in my hands, and I had a feeling about that. Like I didn't know what to say, but I knew I wanted to say something to you. So I tried to call, but you didn't answer. So I went to class. Listening to the class talk about Native Son and the character Bigger Thomas and who he was and what led him to this act of rage. The teacher kept saying he was unleashed, but I kept thinking animal. And so we discuss in this bigger Thomas character and his circumstances and this and that. Single mother, that guy. One of the students said he only had his mom. And I'm sitting there listening to this on a day where I wake up with you on my mind and try to call. Tell you how to feel about these checks. Tell you I haven't seen you in a minute. Wondering where you've been. But you didn't answer your phone. So I sat there, listening to poor, single mother, angry animal bigger Thomas. And when the teacher came asking me what I thought, it's like he knew. Like he was saying something directly to me, like he knew I was sitting here thinking about you. Feeling all single mother. Poor, angry animal, bigger Thomas like. And then he goes, Mr. Joseph, what made bigger Thomas do that to that girl? What were his social limitations? What made the animal in him explode? And he looking at me, but also through me. I don't want to talk about it. Because all I'm thinking about is you. How I haven't seen you in a minute, but I get this check on time, like it's automated, like the bank sends it to me. And I just wanted to know, do you even mail it? Like, is it even personal to you? Or is it robotic routine responsibility? I'm just thinking, who does that? What kind of nigga sends a check? Calls that father. So we talk about big.
Mary Thomas this, a single mother that, and animals exploding in social limitations, and I say, do not fucking call me! I do not have the answer. The teacher keeps pushing me and pushing me, and I get up to walk out because I feel the room getting smaller, and I'm becoming bigger, Thomas, even when I hate that part of the story. That teacher getting in my way, telling me to sit, grabbing me, grabbing my arm like you grab me when you want to play daddy all of a sudden. When it's convenient for you. And so I pushed that bitch. Threw his ass off me and right into the fucking sewer. Threw him off me like he was a monkey hanging off of my back like he was you. And I'm wishing it was you. I'm wishing I could throw him again, pound his face into the fucking ground, rip up that check and say, boy. But it wasn't you. It wasn't you that I pushed, it was my teacher. But I wish. It was you. I wish it was you so bad I had to pee. Almost fucking peeing myself right there in front of me. And I don't know if that's hate or love or something else I was feeling, but I know what Bigger Thomas did what he did, and I hate that I know. But you, I hate you. You, I hate most of When the doctor comes out, text me. I'm stepping out. You hear me? Stepping off, I need air from all of this. You don't want me in your life, and I. I don't know what to do with that. I wish. But I don't even know what else to do. deserves to go through all the colors of the rainbow. That's how you know you had something. Deep. Ugly. <sighs> Beautiful. We didn't get to give all of our shit a try. But for the little parts we did have, for the parts that made me wanna cut a chick's face when you turning your head in her direction, space for allowing me room enough to be jealous and mad because I also got to smack you and get it out and that made me feel free enough to tell you that I love you I really really love you but I hate you for leaving me and breaking it off and not knowing yourself 
I hate you for being so beautiful and confused. But I'm really glad you're not coming back here anymore. This place can't hold you. This place can't hold none of us. For reals. I guess I kind of did, did leave a long ass message. <laughs> but fuck, you know. <laughs> Today, students, we have a special poem being read by our oratory speechwriter, Caroline Vargas. Go ahead, Caroline. Read Rare Pool by Wendell Brooks. I almost lost it. I almost broke down and got stuck somewhere in, in between. Nervous breakdown, as most folks call it. Doctors call it a cancer. I'm sorry, Ma. All my son's life, I thought there was enough space for him. That a little education and opportunity, and he'd be complete. But members of the board are here to tell you that I'm miscalculated. Omari's actions are not his bad at all. They're mine. All of us. We didn't carve out enough space. He doesn't belong anywhere. There is no block, no school, no land he can travel without being under suspicion or doubt. No emotion he can carry without being silenced or disciplined. He needed more space to be. We really I messed up, we Ma. I think there's something wrong with me, and I ain't sure what it is. We less school. We. I want to turn myself in, Ma. I want to take responsibility. I want to make you stop smoking and drinking and crying. No, that's not true. I want my son to be born again, to sleep clean of the baggage. Our baggage. My baggage. I want to be better. Sometimes I look at his face and I get stuck staying. The longer I look, the longer his life will be. I want him to find a place for his anger, where it isn't quelled but put to good use, where he isn't a product of bias or low expectation. I want my son to know love. They see me as a monster. To feel love from all places. Online, I'm a monster. The people made comments, said I should be kicked out, locked up. Still growing, not fully anything. Like I'm an animal. We sing, sing. We. He's not an animal. Like they expect I would be. You're not an animal, no more than the rest of us are. And if so, you built that jungle. I disappoint you. I disappoint you. <laughs> we sing, sing. We. I. I can do. Better. So, if you please, let me take him from here. Let me find him another school, reset, and try again. Just don't press charges. Don't walk away what hope he can become. This rage was not his sin. It was never his sin. We changed him! We. It is his inheritance. I know. I can do better. And I am here to tell you that I take the blame. Send me away, punish me, but my son? Not my son. Wait. That's Not my son. Uh, I've been thinking about, about instructions, about what she said. I wrote them down. Instructions? Yeah. For me? For everybody. Like a list? Oh, like a scripture. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, you want to hear? I'm dying to hear. 
One. Hear me out. Two. Let me chill. Sometime. Uh, three. No one to back off. Uh, four. I'm gonna keep pushing. Five. Let me have some space. Six. Don't assume me for the worst. Seven. Show up. In person. Eight. Be fair. Nine. Forgive that I'm not perfect. Ten. I don't have 10 yet. Still working on it. These, good so far?